So let's start. Uh, I always like to put CLC clear all so that each time I run the code, it clears the workspace. Let me give it uh, a name. Put that in my MATLAB for path. So sunrise, sunset. Okay, so those who came late, uh, basically I'm going to do first question is, uh, can you make an animation of the sun rising up and setting down? That's the question. Okay, so uh, if you think of it this way, which is uh, I have to do so many things. I need to sh make the patch, then I need with the sunrise, sunset, and uh, I will write a code which will be, which will do all those things and then run and see what happens then you're thoroughly mistaken. It's going to take a lot of time and it's going to be less motivating. What I try to do when I program is I will break it into chunks of pieces and do those chunks and look at the output and see if it, and improve on it in step-by-step -step fashion till I get it right. Okay, so what are the things I need? Well, I need to build a patch to show the ground. I need to build the sun and then I need to make the sun move, right? So there are three parts to it. So let me just try start building the, the ground. Before that, I need to create a screen, the thing which people will see. So what I'll do is um, I will create a figure one. Uh, I'm going to say that the axes are going to be minus two, two, minus two, two, which is just saying that uh, everything is going to be in a window which is, which is four units in the X and four units on the Y. Okay, and I just say run. So, first part of my code works. It's figure one, as you can see on top, and it says uh, minus two to two and plus two to, minus two to two on the x and y axis, okay. Next, uh, I would like to draw the sun, okay, and I want to center it right at the origin. Now, if you like, sometimes it's good to put grid on. If you write a single statement, run it and see what happens. Okay, that's syntax spelling, grid on. So it created the grid. Okay, now, uh, in order to draw anything which is uh, uh, round, I need to create lint space. Well, I can I can create a um, circle and then patch it, but perhaps the easier way to do it is to draw a point, make it a point, and blow the point up. So what I mean by that is if I do plot 0, 0, and do, since I want it to be yellow, let's say this then uh, it's barely visible here, but let me increase the, let me increase the size of the, the, the dot. Uh, and at this point, I'm kind of blanking on how to do that, how do I blow that? So what I do is I go here, I say help plot, and then it throws uh, a bunch of ways in which plot can be used. So plot x comma y, that's what I did, it says, the color I can put here, which I already did. Uh, I want it to be yellow. I could have put Y or yellow is fine. And then it gives me a bunch of other things I can do. So for example, what I'm really after is uh, something like this. Here it's telling me a bunch of options. So I can have marker size, marker face, marker edge color. So it looks like I want to do marker size. And I need a marker. Right now I don't have a marker. So the way to create a marker is uh, what is the marker? Well, it could be a point, it could be a circle, X mark, and so on. I want a circle, so it's R, O. So, so I'm going to say Y, O, and I'm going to say marker size, uh, let me say 20. Sorry, the syntax is this. Marker size should be is a string, so it should be this way, and I you can barely see it. Okay, you can barely see it. Also, can you see it? You probably can't see it. Can you uh, see the? Like it's, there, but it's, <laughs> it's there, but it's not there. Um, so it's drawing a circle, but the circle is not filled. I need to fill the circle with the yellow color, and then it perhaps will look. So again, I think I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to say help plot and says marker face color, that's what exactly I want. So I'm going to take that, copy that, 
paste it here and say yellow and run is it visible sort of I want to blow it up still so uh, let me make it 40 better like it make like it's make it 80 okay I think it's visible now okay I got that now uh, I will draw the ground so um, how can I draw the ground well one way to do it is uh, the patch object which we didn't we've done in the past what patch does is basically I need to specify the x y basically I need to create a polygon and just patch it with the color I want so in this case the polygon would be perhaps like this so the I need to give the x edge each of the edges which each of the points which make the edges of the polygon uh, so patch I know that patch is a command but I don't quite know how to use it so I'll say help sorry, help patch so let's look at this okay sometimes what happens is uh, I run a new command and I'm like oh, I'm not sure how to use this and this help is not really useful because it gives a lot of things and that's that's really intimidating so what I do is in that case I go to uh, patch example MATLAB and try to look for a simple example which I can uh, learn about the command so patch okay here's exactly what we need actually I don't have to do much about this so I'm going to copy this and don't feel uh, afraid to go online pick up code and paste it that's fine you don't even have to cite it you don't have to go and say cite like in your senior design they tell you you still to cite but in this case code you don't have to cite small chunks now if you take a big code like the whole code is a standalone thing you better cite it but for this you don't have to cite it so copy this uh, and let's just paste it here okay and I have not done any modifications. First, I, I would like to just run it. So that's where the patch is. I don't quite want it there. I want it right uh, from, I want, it, I want this edge to be here, this edge to be there, and so on. So let's see what this patch is doing. Uh, it's, it's saying x, 0, 1, 1, 0. So x, these x and y are to be interpreted together. So the first edge is at 0, 0. Okay. The second, well, this is not the edge, but the corner. The second corner is 1, 0. x is 1, y is 0. So x is 1, y is 0. Third is 1, 1. So it's this. So basically, if you specify the points or the corners, it basically uh, puts colors that with the color you specify. In this case, it was red. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to start here, which is x is minus 2, y is 0. So x is minus 2 y is 0 uh, next is minus 2 minus 2 third uh, point is x is 2 y is uh, minus 2 this is 2 y is minus 2 and the last point is x is equal to here 2 and y is equal to 0 x is 2 and y is 0 so let's run this exactly what I wanted okay I don't want red I want black let's try black perfect okay uh, all I need to do now is uh, I need to make the sun rise and sunset I just need to move that dot up and down okay and if something is going up and down the best way to do it is through a for loop so I'm going to try to write a for loop. I, I don't want the patch thing to disappear. I just want it to be there. But there's only the sun to move. So only thing I need to uh, worry about is the dot moving. So say for r equals 1 to 100. So I want to have equispaced. I want to go from 1 to 100. Uh, and well, before I do that, let me, let, let's just think where how exactly we want the sun to go we want the sun to go vertically up and down okay which means that the x coordinate will remain the same it will be 0 the y coordinate let's say we want it to be from minus 1 
all the way to uh, plus one and back to minus one. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say lint space of x. So y is equal to let's start with uh, y. Y equals so I'm using y again here. Let's not let's call it something which we can really remember it. So y sun. Okay. Uh, lint space. Lint space helps me to specify uh, equispaced grid. So I want to go from minus one to one. Okay. And uh, x sun is it has to be zero, but you need to specify each and every point, right? So I'm going to say zero. Well, there's a. Uh, I basically need to create an array of zeros which have the same length as y sun because then I have x and y sun, x and y sun, keep plotting that. So I'm going to say zeros uh, length y sun okay uh, the reason why I wrote it like this is again you can check everything you do uh, if you want to check uh, what I do is I keep it this way. I want to check what length does and run this code. Uh, I'm not interested in that. I see that it's 100, so it's basically telling me the length of the vector y. Okay. Um, I can also check it this way. I can say size. Well, size is a different command which gives me, uh, which is more useful than the length actually. So I say size y sun. Then it tells me what are the dimensions of y. It's stored as a matrix. It's actually a vector of one row and 100 columns. Okay, So I better make x to be one row and 100 columns. And that's why uh, the way I wrote it is was one row, 100 or in this case, length of y columns. And that's xn. OK, so now what I need to do is uh, go from one to length y sun end and then I just need to say x sun so this is going to loop through all the i values I specified okay at this point I'm just focusing on getting the sun go up and down okay I don't care about the background so let's just get rid of the background which is this patch thing That did not look like an animation. It's because uh, I did not tell it to pause. I need to make it pause. So I'm going to say uh, pause, which is the command to make it stop. Point uh, one, okay, and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it's going up and then jumping down. Oh, actually, it's resizing. If you see the x and y, it's resizing. That's not good. Uh, let me play that again. So you can see the y-axis. They keep changing. That's not good. I want it to be fixed. And the way to fix it is uh, I'm going to kill this. Control C. We'll kill it. OK, it's already finished. So. Uh, the way I get that is I put the axis right here. Okay. So now it's not resizing, but there's still a problem, which is it's going up. Yeah, it goes up and stays there. Uh, and actually, if you if you look at it carefully, it actually jumps for for the first second. Yeah, see, see, jumping from one to uh, minus one. Why is that happening? Okay, I want to make this it'll go a little faster. So it's not clear to me why it's jumping. Let's just uh, shove it in the carpet. Let me not worry about it right now. Let's let's figure it out later on. Uh, I want to put the the patch now. So this thing should go here. OK. 
Okay, that looks about right. Huh, that thing disappeared. That was interesting. Oh, they, it's it's showing it at one comma zero for some reason, and then it. Oh, I know why it is happening. So I need to close the window every time I run this. So I'm going to say close all, so that way it'll shut the window. It's showing that image from the previous uh, run. So I'm just going to say close all. There it is. Uh, I don't think I need the grid. I'm going to get rid of the grid. Uh, it'd be nice if it goes up and comes down. Uh, and I, maybe I want it to be a brown black ground, not not a not a black one. So let me try if this was brown. But when I say brown, it says uh, it shows a blue because brown is not. It interprets brown as actually B blue. It, there's no brown in in MATLAB. So how do I fix that? Well, it turns out that you don't have to specify brown. You can specify the RGB value. So uh, if you say RGB, so if you can take red, green, and blue, and pretty much make make that into any color by mixing those colors in the right way. So RGB for blue, or sorry, for brown, is uh, okay. You can choose any brown. Let's choose this one. This one looks like a nice brown. So it's one sixty five forty two forty two. Okay, let me try that. Okay, it doesn't understand that. Why? It's because, so here's a good thing about MATLAB, which is every time you write something uh, which is wrong, it'll tell you what's wrong. So in this case, it said, error using patch, face color of patch, uh, color value contains not a number, N A N, element out of range. So it wants a value between zero and one. Okay, you can't, I cannot specify this. So it turns out that these RGB values are on a scale of zero to 255. So you'll see if you look at this table here, there will be a value. The maximum will be 255. There won't be anything bigger than that. That's something I know about RGB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rescale this to 255. Okay, and run this. Okay, brown. It's better. I want to go up and come down. So uh, in this case, I've only set it to go minus one to one. So it goes up. It doesn't come down. So let me uh, do this, which is y sun. Uh, okay, there are a lot of ways to do it. One is I could create an array which goes minus one to one and back from one to minus one, or I could take this and run it backwards. That'll work too. Um, I think it's easiest to just make an, another array. So let's do this. Uh, this is lint space. Then we say lin space one minus one, and hopefully this will work. So the idea being that first we'll create something which is one by hundred, put minus one to one, and then we'll do one to minus one in the backward direction. Let's see if this runs. Goes up, comes down, and you can play with the pause and so on. So that's creating a code of the sun rising up and down from scratch. Uh, 